I hope you're all ready for another bedtime story. Have you had a good day today? Our story today is this one's favourite, so I hope you like it. Once upon a time, there was a mother duck. She had five lovely eggs that she nested on, waiting for them to hatch. One day, she felt something move beneath her and she was filled with happiness as she watched, one by one, her eggs turn into beautiful little ducklings. Only the fifth egg didn't hatch that day and this egg, well, it was a bit bigger than the others and a lot browner too. But the mother duck and the ducklings, well, they waited and waited and waited for the egg to hatch. One duckling, it grew so impatient, I want to go to the pond now! But Mother Duck had promised that she would love all her ducklings the same, just as she had loved their eggs. So she made them wait. And then one day, they all watched as the bigger egg, it started to vibrate. It was vibrating and vibrating and then crack! It hatched! But what hatched out of the egg? Well, it was different to the other ducklings. This duckling, its fur, it, it was fluffier and it was brown and the beak, it, it was a little bit funny and the face, well, the face was ugly. But the mother duck still loved her little duckling, even if it did look different than the others, and it definitely did. But the brothers and sisters, well, they were so unkind to the duckling. They were nasty to him. Why do you look so funny? They used to say. And they called him the ugly duckling. And this ugly duckling grew so, so sad and so lonely. It used to play all by itself until one day the other ducklings, they were so mean to him that, well, he went down to the pond and he started to cry. He looked at his reflection in the pond and saw how funny he looked. And he started to cry. He said, why does nobody want me just because I'm an ugly duckling? And so he decided to leave the duck family forever. And he walked off into the forest and as he walked he saw other duck families and he tried to be family with them but well they rejected him too because he was an ugly duckling he even found some hens that he thought maybe they'd take him in if he tried to look like them tried to act like them tried to speak like them but well they rejected him too so he walked on and winter came and winter's awful for ducklings he grew very cold and very lonely until a farmer, a sweet old farmer, picked him up and decided to take him back to his house. And there the other duckling, oh, he got snug. He got cosy. He liked it there. But there was one problem. They had a huge ginger cat. The cat wouldn't leave the ugly duckling alone. He chased him everywhere until... Well, the duckling decided it was time to leave there too. He went back into the forest, all on his own, and he walked through, but at least it was spring now, and the grass was very green, and the flowers were very pretty, and they smelt very nice. And although the duckling kept on walking, eventually he found some water, and the water was crystal clear blue. Oh, he loved water, he was so happy to see it. And on the riverbed, well, there was the most beautiful swan. And this swan, she was, she was with the entire swan family. He got closer down to the riverbed when he hid behind a rock. I can't go over, he said. I can't go on that water because they'll hate me. They'll think I'm just an ugly duckling. He bowed his head in shame. But in doing so, he saw his reflection in the water. And it was much different to the one he'd seen before. This one was of a white swan with a long, elegant neck and a beautiful beak. He couldn't believe it. He was astounded. My, 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 said the swan on the riverbed. You have the whitest feathers I have ever seen. They're gleaming in the sun. The little duckling was amazed because he wasn't a little duckling at all. He was a swan. He couldn't stay with his brothers and sisters because he wasn't a duck. And he couldn't look like them or swim like them or quack like them because he was a beautiful swan. The swan family welcomed him onto the river and they all marvelled at his beauty. A few days later, the farmer arrived and he was there to feed the swans with some bread when he said, Well, well, 
if it isn't our duckling. Well, actually, you're not a duckling at all. You're the most beautiful swan on the river. For the rest of his days, the swan spent ha was happy with his swan family. Other ducks, they, they were amazed by his beauty and the hens and the farmer came down often with bread and treats. And the little duckling, well, the swan, never felt lonely or ugly again. The end. <laughs> well, now you can see why it's this one's favourite. I hope you sleep well and I hope you can join us next time for another adventure. Good night.